Okay. Reversible routing. In reversible routing, we are dealing with the equation, the continuity equation. The method that we are using is called level pool routing. It's, a, it's called the level pool routing method. Okay? So the reservoir uh, level pool routing method is involved the solution of the the storage, uh, the continuity equation and the storage function. Uh, reservoir routing is solution of two equations. One is the continuity and one is the storage function. Okay? So that is reservoir routing. So the continuity equation you can express it in this format. Hmm? Inflow minus outflow equal to the change in the storage. So this equation can be expressed in finite difference form as follows. Huh? This equation, we can express it in finite difference form. I1 plus I2 divided by 2, Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2 equal to S1 minus S2 divided by uh, divided by delta t so this is the uh, formula, the finite difference formula So this equation, we can rearrange it. We can rearrange this equation so that we put all the uh, unknown variable on the right hand side and all the known variable on the left hand side. Okay. We can rearrange this so the known on the left and known on the right. So that gives us the next equation, which is this, the equation at the top. Now the derivation, uh, I, you can do it yourself to verify it. You can do it by hand to verify it. But you will get the same thing, uh, equation 2.14. the continuity equation, continuity equation. The storage function, the storage function is here. The storage function is the combined effect of the uh, discharge characteristic of the rating curve, which is represented by Q equal to function of the H. Q is the discharge H is the st stage. So it's a stage discharge curve. That's the rating curve. The uh, topography of the site will give you the storage curve. The storage curve is just the stage versus storage. When we say stage, it means that. Okay? Stage. In, in drainage, the stage means the depth. Okay. 
So the storage curve, which is the stage versus storage, represented by Q, is a function of storage. So if we combine the two together, we combine the two together, the storage uh, discharge relationship, we can express it as Q as a function of storage. Not these two. We take off, take up stage Q as a function of storage. So we come up with this formula. Q equal to C L H minus H. This is the discharge, the spillway discharge equation. Spillway discharge equation. If you have a spillway outlet, you can dis represent the outlet of the spillway using a discharge equation. Spillway discharge equation. Q equal to CL H minus H to the power of 3 over 2. Let me explain in this diagram what I mentioned just now. You, you have reservoir routing, you got an inflow hydrograph that's from your hydrograph method. And this is the what? The kitchen tap. Huh? The kitchen tap is there. The continuity equation and the storage function represent the bucket. The outlet hydrograph is your outlet wall uh, from the bucket. So in this, uh, in this uh, schematic diagram, that is the kitchen tap, the inflow from, from the kitchen tap. The storage, the bucket, is, is the dam. The storage behind the dam is the bucket. The outflow is the outlet wall. Right. So that is the uh, that is the uh, schematic. Now, the solution basically is to solve between the continuity and the storage function. Solve these two formula together. Because they are, because we have more unknowns than knowns, so we need to do iteration. We got more unknowns than knowns. So we stop these two together, we get the outflow hydrograph. What is come out from the kitchen, the bucket, and the storage and the inflow. And to solve these two equations, we need to know some initial condition. We need to have the initial condition. The initial condition is the storage and the discharge. So you can see from here, the inflow hydrograph is like this. The outflow hydrograph is lower. So you compare the two, there's attenuation. Yeah. The peak has attenuated. 